Alright, so I made a football video last week, and, well, you guys enjoyed it, and requested it us for more football videos. So, let's talk football. Alright guys, so today I'm talking about something that really pisses me off in football. And you know what, it's that much of a bad thing that it has nothing to do with the actual game itself. Not the players, surprisingly, not the referees. This is one of the worst things, in my opinion, about football these days, it, and it doesn't include referees. What? It's not the fans, it's not the offside rules, it's not anything stupid like that, there's no rules involved in this. But, in my opinion, it's still one of the most annoying things when watching football on television. It just pisses you right off, or pisses me off. And I know I'm not alone in this. Shut up your phone. Because this crap definitely pisses off my dad and oh my glory god, it pisses me off. Now the thing is... Replays. What? Alright, now you might be thinking... Replays. What? Replay? Why? Why is this pissing you off? You're watching a goal. Or a shot. Or a pelican. Why is this pissing you off that you have to watch these kind of things? 10,000 times. I, I don't know. I honestly... I, I don't know what pisses me off about watching the goalkeeper catch a ball for three minutes in a row. It, I did, really! It shouldn't annoy me that we have to watch the supporters for a minute or two when the ball's in play, but hey, that's none of my business. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is something that has annoyed me for a very long time. Now, especially when you pay money to watch the game, you're you're expecting to watch the game. And uh, replays kind of stop that. Now I know, I went to England once, and uh, I watched the, the freaking sport there, watched the uh, League Cup semi-final, United versus Sunderland, I think it was a semi-final. And they were showing a replay, and they put it in a little box. But everything else, apart from on whatever freaking show that, whatever channel that was, they just go, alright, here's a shot, ball's coming in, and the shot has gone at half a freaking meter per hour! Keeper picks it up, great, 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 great save there, we're gonna watch it for the next three minutes. Uh, doesn't matter how many shots and corners we have in this time. We're gonna watch a replay of it. Look at that magisterial. Alright, right, wind it back, wind it back, wind it back. Now in slow motion, half speed. Oh, he's caught that well. Alright, now we need we need to really get deep in this. Let's go eight an eighth of the speed to see how brilliant this is. Oh, no, you, you can't you can't beat that right there. Oh, they've scored. Alright, now we're gonna show you a replay of that. And, uh, you'll see this on the replay of how they built this up. You see, they've got a corner there. It got kicked out to halfway. And, and now you're watching a replay. Uh, well, we're gonna watch this one at half speed as well. See, you can kind of understand why these replays piss me off. And now you might be thinking, we never miss goals. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright. I haven't been watching for very long, and I don't watch many games, like... All of the games. I watch mostly just Premier League. That's all I watch, really. Sometimes the freaking Football League in England, but apart from that, nothing. So, you know, I'm not really broadening my freaking watch time on how many games I watch and what you miss by replays. But, I know, in one game a few years ago, not just not just any game, not like Accrington versus Plymouth, no. Arsenal versus Tottenham, or maybe it was Tottenham versus Arsenal, it was the London Derby. We actually missed a goal in the London Derby. Because they were showing a stupid replay. Oh, could you imagine this? If you're an Arsenal fan, because it was an Arsenal goal we missed. If you're an Arsenal fan, and you're watching this, and you're like, yeah, you're celebrating. But then they score, and you don't see them score, and you're just like, what are you doing, you twats? What happened, right? Was well, Arsenal scored, can't remember who scored, might have been Fabregas, might have been Adebayor, might have been freaking Almuni, I didn't really give a crap. They scored a goal in, I think, the second half. Doesn't really matter, they scored a goal. And, you know, cheering, because my neighbours were freaking Arsenal fans. Still are Arsenal fans, probably. I, I suppose they will be. So they were over at my house watching the London Derby. Arsenal score, they're celebrating because it's the London Derby, you know. North London Derby. It's what you freaking do. So they're celebrating, as they should be. Um, they barely even sit down after watching freaking 20,000 replays in freaking 10... Thousand freaking times slower than what it is that you then miss the freaking goal that Fabregas scored for them. Literally, you're watching the replays, you're going, that was a good goal, and then all of a sudden, as you're still thinking that was a good goal, for, and you've still got another replay to watch, you hear them going, hey Fabregas is through, and that's a goal, and he literally pans back to the game when he's sliding towards the freaking corner flag. I was like, what? I'm not entirely sure 
but I'm pretty sure, and I'm not entirely sure, they either missed a goal in the World Cup, or they nearly missed a goal in the World Cup, like, were seconds away from missing this goal, and that kind of just pisses me off. I'm not sure about you guys, but it pisses me off. Why do you have to freaking play Sony replays? All right, understandable. Sometimes there's a great goal. You want to show it a few times. Do you know how long there is between halftime and second half? 15 minutes. Do you know what you do in that 15 minutes? You usually look at freaking replays. Show us the replays then, you twats. I do not give a crap about some presenter talking about some crap that he has no idea about. I would prefer to see the goals at half time than see these wankers talk. But sometimes it's not too bad because you miss maybe freaking five seconds of the kickoff. Unless you're an Arsenal fan, then you miss the entire goal. But sometimes it's not too bad after a goal. You know, you see him celebrating the show replay, goes back, then they're walking back to the center circle. It's not too bad. But sometimes they show the most ridiculous things for replays. Like I said, they just kick it. It's a simple save. Keeper barely had to move. He, he's like, holy crap. He has that much time, he can pick it up and freaking sign it and give it to someone in the crowd and then pick it up again and then play football. They still show a replay of it. Not just one replay, not just two. They show at least three. And it has to be in slow motion. It has to get slower each time, show different camera angles, and I don't know why. Why, EA? Was the director literally just sitting there in his freaking office directing this game going, hmm, hmm. Okay, all right. Nice save, it was straight at him, camera one, replay that crap, let's have a look at it again. Good effort lad, alright, camera three, pan it back, we're gonna get a back view here, we're gonna see what happened from behind him, uh, put it in half speed though, so we have to watch it for a longer time. Awesome, and our camera eight, now we get our goal perspective, and just look at it, uh, yeah, no, 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 re rewind it, and then watch it again. You know, you know, just pause it, just pause it at this spot. We'll make them watch, just watch a frozen screen. Uh, oh yeah, back to camera two. Oh, we almost missed the goal. Uh, back to, back to camera eight now. Let's finish watching this replay. In a second, we'll get into watching that replay before watching the replay of the corner and then the replay of the goal. Good work. Okay, now we get into the other oh, score. Just keep watching the corner replay. Watch the, yeah, okay. Um, shit. Uh, what do I do? It happens every time. I don't get it. I mean, it might not be a massive deal to other people, but this thing has pissed me off for years. Like, you get a corner, they show a replay of how you got the corner. Usually, it's your winger literally just running down the wing, kicking it into the opposition and going out. They show it three, four times for some unknown reason. Maybe you show it once, and that's enough. But then they miss the corner. And then the corner comes in, and then you literally get onto it as they head it out for another corner. And then they show a replay of what just happened whilst you're watching a replay. And then another corner comes in, and then you end up watching a replay of the replayed corner. It's just, why are you freaking doing this? Now, I know a lot of people might not find this as a problem, mainly because they're not that much into it, where they just don't have to see every second of their game. I do, and I want to. Alright, when someone's injured for two minutes, Put on a replay. It can be a replay of a goal. It can be a replay of the injury. It can be a replay of someone sucking themselves off. I don't give a damn. Just don't do it when there's play on. There's no need to play freaking ads when plays on. And another thing, why the hell do we have to stare at managers for 20, 30 seconds at a time? You can hear the crowd going, ah, ah, ah. you can hear the freaking commentator going, ah, ah, ah. but we're looking at freaking Louis Van Hal. And you're just like, why am I looking at this pug nosed bitch? when I could be watching my freaking game. Not that you'd want to be watching United. I mean, a anyone else probably wasn't the best example. I'd say Jose Mourinho, but... Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess you would want to play. watch Chelsea. That's... It's kind of like a comedy standoff, isn't it? Close to it. Anyway, that's my little rant for today. Uh, I think that's all. I think I've covered it all. If you agree and you enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment your videos down below. Share my opinion around. Share this video around. If you want to see me talk more about football in the future, I can do that. This weekend's games have just been played, but I'm recording this on a Thursday, so no games have been played. Everton have just gone to the semi-final of the Capital One Cup. We play City, home and away, and Liverpool play Stoke, home and away. There's your freaking football knowledge for today. And uh, yeah, Everton play on Tuesday. The rest of the results, I don't give a damn. Just whoever's playing Newcastle, I'm Newcastle. Levers, le 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 whoever's playing Liverpool, which is Newcastle at home, you better freaking play well today. Uh, yesterday, tomorrow, tomorrow. Play well tomorrow and stuff their asses up, alright? Kick their asses, Newcastle.
and then get relegated. And that's enough from me, Mitty. Hope you have enjoyed. Like I said, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment my videos down below. Replays can shove them right up your asshole. I don't want to see the same boring crap replay 20,000 times before seeing an actual live action replay. That just does my head in. Stop looking at managers. That piece is a crap. Looking at the fans is okay when the ball's out. Don't do it when they're running through and goal. Fucking <laughs> hell, mate. If you have any ideas for anything else, so you can rant about in football, comment down below if you just want to see me rant about freaking the weekend's games, talk about the re 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 weekend's games, some rant about some stupid ass rule like the offside rule or anything like that, and comment down below. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you!